So we'll do one more example sketching hyperbolas. Now we've kind of got most of the basics down. We got the idea of this, you know, getting this box in, getting the asymptotes in, getting the vertices, we go from there. The only extra wrinkle is this one is not in the standard form, right? So we've got to complete the square first. So x is on its own. We can leave that alone. 9x squared minus. So we have y squared minus 2y, right? Careful, minus, minus to give the plus. We need to add 1 here to get a perfect square. Um, OK, but we've actually subtracted 1. We should subtract 1 from that side as well. So we get 9x squared, subtract y, minus 1 squared, equal to 9. Divide through by 9, we get x squared minus y minus 1 over 3 squared equals 1. OK, good. All right. So now we can now we can sketch. So we have coordinate system. OK, there we go. Our center, we're centered on the on the y axis, right? X is the x naught is 0, but y naught is equal to 1. So our center is here at 1, right? Um, this time it's going to be opening horizontally because we have the plus sign on the x, right? Um, so if y is equal to 1, um, we can, it's probably easier to see it here, right? Um, either way, if y is equal to 1, x squared is equal to 1. So x should be plus or minus 1. So the vertices are going to be here and here, right? 1, 1, and minus 1, 1, okay? So we've got that. Um, now we got to get this. Um, we got to get this idea of the little, the little box in, right? So x goes between one and minus one. Y we get to go up or down by three units. So we can go up one, two, three, or down one, two, three. Okay, and we draw in that little box. So we draw in this box. Like so, right? So we have that. So now we can put in the asymptotes that way, that way, All right? So this is what is this? Y is three x plus one. This is y is minus 3x plus 1. Those are the two asymptotes. OK. So we've got the asymptotes. We've got the vertices. We should maybe label a few more points here. Like maybe we want to label that this is at 1, 4. This is at 1 and minus 2. Label the. That's at 1, 1 for that vertex, and minus 1, 1 for the other vertex. And now we just try to draw in the hyperbola. So again, we want to start at the, the vertex, and we want to approach the asymptotes. We can see that this one is much wider, right, because the asymptotes are steeper. So we have to come out, head out like that, and like that, like that. And like that, okay? And you've got your hyperbola.